All right, so we're gonna start out with a primer like always. I'm using this one from Smashbox. I know Smashbox has a lot of primers that look just like this. This is the Photo Finish Super Light Smooth and Blur Primer. This is supposed to smooth out and blur out your pores or your skin and get it ready for the foundation. And for the foundation, I'm using this one from Natasha Denona. This is the Transform Matte Pore Vanishing Matte Foundation. This is my third time using this foundation. So on their website, they claim that this is a full coverage foundation, but I don't know if it's just my skin, but it does not look full coverage on me. This is more of a light to medium coverage. So if I'm going for a full makeup glam, I probably won't use this foundation. I would definitely wear this during daytime because it's so light and it's so velvety um, and it just feels good on the skin. And I'm using a damp sponge to blend it out, but next time I'm going to use a brush to see if that will give me more of a fuller coverage um, and I'll let you guys know. And for my concealer, I'm using the MAC Studio Fix Concealers. I'm not sure what shades these are. I'll list them down below. Um, because I'm always grabbing different shades, especially during summertime. And to blend that out, I'm still using the same damp sponge from Real Techniques. And to set the concealer, I'm using a loose powder from Laura Mercier. I always try to find new loose powders, but I always find myself coming back to this one. It's just really good, um, and I'm still using that sponge to apply it. And to set the rest of my face, I'm using my powder from Lancome and I'm using a big powder brush from Sigma. This is the F30 brush. And to bronze my skin, I'm using one of the best bronzers out there. This one is from MAC. It's called Give Me Sun. This is one of those bronzers where it doesn't get old. Uh, this is a classic bronzer. I love it. It's really matte, soft, and it just gives you a beautiful sun-kissed look um, so if you haven't tried this product I highly recommend it and now I'm just brushing through my eyebrows I had them lightly filled in in the beginning but I want them a little darker so that's what I'm doing right now and I'm using the eyebrow pencil from covergirl Moving on to the eyes, I'm using a concealer to prime them and get them ready for the eyeshadow. I've been using a concealer a lot lately instead of a primer because I just think it works just as good, but of course, use a primer if you have that, but if you don't, use a concealer. And the palette I'm using for today's look is the Naked 3 palette from Urban Decay, and I'm starting out with the lightest matte shade in there called Strange, and that's going to be going all over my eyelids. And for the crease, I started out with the shade Limit, and then I wanted it a little bit more darker, so I went to the shade called Nooner. These are both matte shades. Back to my concealer, I'm carving out a lid space to give it that clean look and get it ready for a lighter shade. Next, I'm going to use two shimmery shades. First, I'm going to use Buzz and then over that, I'm going to use Dust. And now I'm using my glitter glue from Too Faced and applying that on my eyelid to get it ready for the loose shadow. And this one is from Ingla. I believe this is number 118. It's a beautiful light shade. I just want to intensify the dust shade from the palette and this was the perfect match for that. And now I'm taking the darkest shade in the palette. It's called Black Heart and I'm applying that on the outer corner. So I'm just going to focus that shade on the outer corner to give us kind of a smoky look. And for the mascara, I'm using the Better Than Sex Mascara from Too Faced. This is one of the best mascaras, well, one of the best high-end mascaras, so I highly recommend. And now I'm applying my lashes to complete the whole look. Once again, I have no idea which ones these are because I always reuse them and then misplace them. So I have no idea which ones these are right now, but like always, I will list them down below once I find out. And then once I have them on, I just go back with a black eyeshadow and hide the lash line. 
And for the highlighter, I'm using my MAC Soft and Gentle. And for the blush, I'm using the Flower Beauty Flower Pot blush and this one is in the shade Wild Rose. It's a beautiful matte rosy shade. Next, I'm lining my lips with Max Strip Down Lip Liner. I love this lip liner. I've gone through so many of these. This is the perfect lip liner for nude lipsticks or pink lipsticks. And the lipstick I'm using is also from MAC and it's Angel. It's a oldie but a goodie. But I just love this combo together right now. And on the center of my lips, I'm using another product from Flower Beauty. This is the Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade English Rose. I just wanted a lighter shade on the center. And this was the perfect shade. Next, I'm lining my waterline with a black eyeliner. This one is from Urban Decay. This is a 24-7 Glide-On Liner. And the last thing I'm doing is setting my face. I'm using the Morphe Mist. This is one of the best setting sprays out there. And this is the final look. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this look. And if you did, please give this video a thumbs up. And I will see you in my next video. No,